Good morning, Bob Gustin here again. Anyway, we just talked about the steel rule, and I want to make sure too we also talk about the tape measure. I don't care what field you're in, any technical field, first of all, we are going to measure. The next thing is, is that we all use tape measures. I don't think of anybody that does that I know that doesn't use a tape measure. We're welder, machinist, industrial mechanic, electrician, plumber, automotive technician, diesel technician. Auto body, we have to measure something every now and then, and this is as good. This is a great tool to start with. We don't start with in my field in precision machining. We don't start with micrometers and calipers. The first thing out of the box, we start with this. This is your standard tape measure. Comes in different lengths, and I'm not going to go through every single one. This would take a, we'd have a whole day's worth of video. I am going to turn this around. If, my cameraman will bear with me, I have it upside down. <laughs> this is your standard tape measure. I can measure anything out to 25 feet. This is a good way to go cut stock off, you know, do a rough measurement on something. Also realizing too, I can't measure any closer than the graduations on this, and this happens to be in sixteenths of an inch. Now, tape measure, Unlike a steel roll, this is probably one that you can really get yourself in the world of hurt depending on how you're using it. Now, when we're measuring, and I'm going to get something a little longer than that last piece I measured, we want to learn to keep this tape measure as straight as physically possible. If you go measuring like this, I'm going to make this piece that is 60 inches long. If I go up here, is now 64 inches long and you, that is caused by measuring an angle. If you had trigonometry, which I'm sure you had some in math in your math class, that's called your hypotenuse. We don't want that. We want to know the physical length. So please keep this as straight as possible. Now they do wear out. That's If you use it a lot, they are going to wear out. And most of your graduations down here on this end will wear out. You replace these, you know, I've had this one for probably about 10 years and it's still looking pretty good and I've had some that I've, you know, I've replaced. But get used to, to replacing your tools and keeping them upgraded. And also, again, I cannot stress this enough, when you go into your class, there's going to be a table back there and they're going to have all kinds of neat stuff that looks like this on there. In the morning or in the evening before class. Get your tools out and practice measuring, because guess what? You cannot get good at measuring if you don't practice them. That's all. Thank you much.